Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all are catching a lot of fish. It's April here in North Carolina. It's like freaking beautiful outside right now. It's like been 80 degrees for the past like two weeks and uh, fish are definitely up shallow and they are biting, man. I tell you what. Uh, but guys, this video will be pretty short. Obviously, you know what it's about. The mounts for my 10.9 pound PB that I caught back in December. She's right here on the ground. I'm looking at her. She's huge. She's freaking huge. Big is beautiful. Well, this will be a quick video. You know, this mount came in last week and I figured it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to show y'all. And uh, just kind of give a shout out to the guy who did the mount for me um, because it turned out just perfect. But guys, we actually also have some other um, news and just updates about the channel for you guys that, uh, that I just wanted to also maybe take this opportunity and, uh, and let y'all know about. First things first, some, um, some bad news. I mean, we'll just put it that way. As you guys probably notice, it's just me right now. Uh, CJ and Levi are not here. And there, there's a reason for that. Um, and just to cut to the chase here, unfortunately, uh, CJ and Levi have decided to step away from Slap Dynasty. I'm just kidding, guys. No, that's, that's not true at all. Um, I don't know why I just did that. I just thought of that before getting on the camera here and I thought it'd be funny to maybe play a little prank on y'all. I know I got someone, I know I got one of you. Comment below if I totally punked you just now. No guys, uh, CJ and Levi are not going anywhere. They are 100% still with Slab Dynasty. Um, yeah, two weeks after April Fools, that's that's our late April Fools joke for you. Some, uh, some real news, um, we actually have some giveaway winners to announce. We have two giveaways that we've had in limbo now for several weeks and uh, so it's well overdue. We need to announce these giveaway winners. So the first one was from the video where we went and caught spotted bass in a river. It's from a while ago. I wanna say we uploaded that video in like February, but basically we had some swim baits and uh, some worms here that you could win and all you had to do was go follow us on Instagram and comment on one of our Instagram posts. And the winner of that giveaway is Reed Pennington. Congratulations, Reed. You won yourself a pack of sniper shads with one of them missing. Some bruiser baits, swim baits, and some bass assassin rail worms. Pretty good. So not too shabby there. And then we had one more giveaway that we did for the video that we shot with Jamie Hegarty when we went out and uh, we actually also caught spotted bass in that video. It was a little angler versus angler competition video. And the winner of that giveaway is Cole Kennedy. Congratulations, Cole. Cole, you have won yourself some, some pretty good, this is a pretty good giveaway right here. Some Strike King Rage Toads. Some, uh, that's a great buzz bait trailer right there. The buzz bait's on fire right now around us. Some Strike King Rage Menaces. And then some Reaction Innovations Skinny Dippers. I mean, that's a freaking good giveaway, right? Why am I giving that stuff away? I need that stuff. So yeah, guys, hit us up on Instagram, Reed and Cole, uh, or Facebook. Just DM us your information, your address, and uh, we'll get these baits shipped out to you as soon as we can. Uh, other news, other news. What, up, what other stuff do we got going on here? Oh, I don't know how many of you know this, but we have merch. I'm sure you've seen it, like in the videos and stuff, but uh, you know, obviously the OG Slab fans, you guys know we have merch. But a lot of you newer subscribers might not know this. Uh, we have like a full line of apparel. I've got some right here, actually. We've got, um, you know, other t-shirts. We've probably got like six different types of t-shirts. We've got this one, like with the cursive letters in three different colors. It's called the Triton t-shirt. Uh, this one's just like our like our original design that we did. It's got like that on the back, pretty dope. It comes in gray and black. That same design we also have like on long sleeve and you got the little, all it takes is one right there. Pretty dope too. Uh, we've got hoodies, we've got hats. We got a lot of stuff. This one's pretty cool. Uh, this is the American flag trident right there. That'll be pretty good come summertime. 4th of July, Memorial Day, stuff like that. Yeah, honestly, we, we've got way too much merch. I think we went a little too ham on buying merch and now we have just like a crazy amount left over. <laughs> We're gonna keep restocking it, but but we are honestly trying to sell a lot of it and our prices are really good. Like these t-shirts right here, like this, this USA one, 12 bucks, 12 dollar. That is not bad at all, if you ask me. Hoodies hoodies are like maybe 20 something bucks, long sleeves are 
like 16 bucks. Uh, these are 16 bucks. These are super soft. These Triton ones, super, super soft, like nice material. These are these are great for when the weather gets warm. But yeah, go check it out, guys. SlabDynastyFishing.com. I'll probably pop it up right here and uh, put, a, put a link in the, in the description. If you wanna buy something and support us, we really appreciate it, obviously. Okay, moving along, guys. Uh, just a few other updates that I wanted to share with y'all before we get to this big old fish. One thing is that you guys you guys are seeing this video. We, we uploaded this on a Wednesday, which typically we upload stuff on Sundays, right? We have been doing our Sunday uploads now for, geez, probably eight or nine months. Yeah, I think some, somewhere around there, eight or nine months we have not missed a Sunday upload. Every now and then we have sprinkled in some extra uploads, like for example, this one. Uh, every now and then we'll, we'll throw in like a Wednesday upload. And uh, usually they've been like smaller type of videos, like maybe like lure reviews, bait reviews, how to's, tips and tricks, stuff like that. Well, guys, from here on out, officially, we are going to try our hardest to upload twice a week from now on. And if you're an OG Slab fan, you're probably rolling your eyes going, oh no, not this again. Yes, we have made this announcement announcement before and unsuccessfully, uh, you know, maintain that twice a week cadence. Cause it's hard guys. I mean, when you have like full-time nine to five jobs, uh, it's hard enough just to get out one video. And you guys know us, like we, we really try to put quality into our uploads. We spend a lot of time on editing. We don't just, throw together some raw GoPro footage. Uh, we like to make high quality edits. We, we feel like you guys enjoy that. That's why, you know, really we've just been sticking to one upload a week. But now I'm gonna be editing one video per week that will typically be uploaded Wednesday. CJ handles our Sunday uploads. I'm now gonna handle our Wednesday uploads. And those videos are gonna drop typically on Wednesday evenings, maybe around like 5, 6 p.m. The Sunday uploads aren't going anywhere. We're still gonna upload Sundays around, you know, that maybe like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. time frame. But yeah, guys, we're, we're really excited about it. We think, you know, it's, it's necessary for us to grow. You know, we talk to a lot of big creators in this space and they all have sort of different processes and different ways that they've you know, gotten to where they are. But one thing is common between all of them. They all say you need to be posting at least once a week, if not more. And I think one thing that we're going to do f moving forward into this summer is uh, we might be experimenting a little bit more. You know, we've kind of stuck with bass fishing for a long time. And look, I'll be straight up honest with y'all. The bass fishing space is crowded. It is crowded as hell right now. I mean. Everywhere you look, there's a new creator making bass fishing content. And it's great, like I love it. You know, it's it's awesome for the sport, it's awesome for the industry, but at the same time, it's, it's getting harder and harder and harder to stand out on YouTube, especially when it comes to bass fishing content. So we're actually, we're gonna branch out a little bit. And when I say branch out, you know, bass fishing is not going anywhere. We're still gonna bass fish. We are bass fishermen at heart, but we're gonna try a lot more saltwater stuff, especially this summer, because summertime's a great time for saltwater around here. We're gonna try a lot more like interesting Interesting things like maybe like bushcraft-esque type of things. If you don't know what bushcraft is, just go look it up. You know, like building like little huts to survive in and fish, survival fishing and survival camping and spilling over into the camping side of things a little bit. But honestly, like we don't really know. We just have a bunch of ideas for things we want to try. The main thing is we need to know from you guys. You guys are what determines what we do. And we'd love to hear from y'all. You know, let us know in the comments, what what do you guys want to see? Not only what you just want to see maybe from us, but what do you enjoy on YouTube? Like comment below, what do you typically watch on YouTube? What type of content do you find the most entertaining when it comes to anything and everything like outdoors or fishing or yeah, anything outdoors really. Anything guys, any feedback is super helpful and it's super appreciated. Okay, I've babbled enough. Let's get down to business. Let's show y'all this freaking huge fish mount. It is mind bogglingly huge. All right, hold on. Okay, I've got it in my lap now. And um, before I show this thing, I just wanna you know provide the backstory for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, back in December, we shot a video where we caught a 30 pound limit with this baby right here as the kicker, 10.9 pounds, my PB. Definitely go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. By far the most ridiculous day of bass fishing I've 
ever had and it quite possibly may ever have. Hopefully not, hopefully we can get a better day than that, you know, catch a 35 pound limit, 40 pound limit, have a 12 pound kicker instead of a 10.9, but you know, who knows that this fish might be the biggest fish that I ever catch in my life, which is really special. So I'm, I'm very glad that I did this. I'm glad that I got this mount um, and it turned out, like I said, it turned out perfect. All right, here we go guys, drum roll. Look at that fish, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ain't she a beaut? God, she's just pretty. There she is, guys, in all of her glory. 10.9 pound northern strain largemouth. That's that's honestly kind of a key piece of information with this. Typically, your northern strains, they, they do not get this big. A, a northern strain this size is like is like a 14 plus pound Florida strain. And to catch it, you know, right here in North Carolina on a local lake is is so special. Didn't catch it in Florida or Texas or California. It came right right here in, in our backyard. So, so just so cool, guys. It's something I'll, I'll never ever forget. So guys, you might be looking at this thing and you might have seen the fish in the video and you might be thinking, well, this fish doesn't look exactly the same as the one in the video. And the reason is guys, because I did not do a skin mount of that fish. I did not keep and kill that fish. I let her go and I, instead I got measurements. So I took measurements of that fish. I took a bunch, we took a bunch of pictures, obviously. We got the video and I sent all that information to the taxidermist. And what he did instead of doing a skin mount was he bought an already made replica this this fish right here this whole thing is like a plaster mold i don't know what you call it but it's it's basically already made like he he went into probably like a catalog like from a supplier and picked this fish out and it probably came to him blank you know white like completely white and what he did was paint it and considering that this was a you know a pre-cut um, you know, mold or whatever, I, I think it it's amazingly close to my fish. I, I think it turned out really well. The paint job and everything, it, it turned out beautifully. Let me just look at that. That that looks like a real bass, you know? Really, really, really well done. So the taxidermist I used is called Dinks Taxidermy. I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen. Also gonna link it in the description. He's based out of Marion, North Carolina. So if you're in the area, if you're really just in the region, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, I would highly recommend this guy. Um, he did an awesome job. Super fast turnaround time. That's another thing. Like if you, if you do this through a really popular taxidermist, uh, a lot of times their their prices will be high and their turnaround time will be like crazy long. I remember I, I actually reached out to two other taxidermists and they told me that their turnaround time was about a year, a whole freaking year. I mean, that's that's crazy. And this this was done in, you know, a few months. It was actually done sooner than that, but I just, I didn't have time to go pick it up and uh, finally was able, was able to pick it up. So yeah, but there she is guys. I need to give her a name. Comment down below what, what I should name this fish right here. I also need to figure out where to hang her. Might hang her right, right here in the office. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna have to find a spot for her. Yeah, guys, there it is. The fish, the 10.9 pound fish. Well, that is all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one, uh, but yeah, some, some key updates, some exciting updates for the channel. And if you're discovering our channel for the first time from this video, uh, definitely go check out some of our other videos. Uh, we, we obviously do a lot of fishing and we think we've got some pretty sweet videos. Maybe you can go check them out and let us know. Thank you so much, guys. And hey, remember, all it takes is one, baby. Slab out.